From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Diversified Real Estate Investment Trust, Amira Properties, has implemented several community, social and environmental projects at its regional Wonder Park shopping centre property in Karen Park in Pretoria. And these are providing several benefits for the company, customers and surrounding community. Tasneem Bubulia tells us more. Wonder Park is Emira's largest retail asset and the company has undertaken several initiatives here. Emira Chief Operating Officer Ulana van Bullion expands on the centre. It's about 90,000 square metres um, and although it's classified as a large retail centre, it plays the purpose and the role of a neighbourhood centre because you'll see around we are in a node, we don't, we're not in an office section or where we rely on office uh, uh, tenants to come um, here. Also most of the people that frequent here is people that are not working in this area. So they come here because they see it as their, their centre and we also dedicate a lot lot of our initiatives to our community and what they do. Maybe just some interesting stats, um, our, our profile is female, um, they're about 39 years old, Alice M is between 7 and 9, uh, which is also very good. But I think maybe one of the, the stats that are really interesting is the dwell time at the shopping centre. 100 minutes, I mean if you just think for yourself how long you have to walk around for 100 minutes. So some of the things we do here um, from a social point of view is our PV, is our water harvesting, biodiversity, for instance, our bee projects. As alluded to, Wonder Park has solar PV, with this being Emira's largest solar power plant. The construction of solar panels on the roof of the center was completed in three phases. The total peak power of the plant is 4.4 megawatts. It provides about 30% of the center's total power. Van Billion outlined some of the benefits this plan provides. Well, firstly, I think the most important thing is what it does for the environment, is to have less um, electricity from the grid and more from, from the sun. So that's probably the most important. Secondly, from a business perspective, because we now rely less on ESCOM, our bill is also less. Um, and that, from a business perspective, is also better. She also highlights endeavours to bolster this with battery storage. Yeah, so at this stage we are investigating and analyse the um, effectiveness um, of that and also from a business case, um, how will it have an impact from a return base as well. We haven't made a decision but we're quite far in analysing the possibility. Van Billion outlines the company's water and waste initiatives. Just from the water treatment, uh, two boreholes and water harvesting, um, that equates to about 410,000 litres. So really a very big plant. And what we've also done last year, we made a very conscious decision in a mirror to reduce the, um, uh, the waste that goes to landfill. A five-year plan, 40%, that's how we want to bring it down. And here at Warner Park, we actually started with it and in the whole Pretoria area. So we're going to have an integrated waste system um, for the whole Pretoria area um, that will then be housed here in Warner Park. Wonder Park also boasts its own nursery and vegetable garden. Further to growing its own vegetables and harvesting these when ready, the centre also donates this produce to local non-profit organisations within its direct catchment area. Van Billion expands. We've also um, helped some of our schools um, and we actually took it a little bit further to also educate the schools to do their own veggie farms. Van Billion highlights how successes from Wonder Park's initiatives will be used to amplify similar efforts across the company's portfolio. What we did is we actually um, planted the speckworm here and we used all the speckworm that came from Warner Park to plant in our Gauteng um, areas. So the waste we will implement countrywide, um, the water harvesting we've already started and we've got quite a few projects countrywide with our uh, water as well. Emira is also pursuing new initiatives, with it currently having two healthy beehives on site at the centre. It is aiming to bolster this with another one before the end of the year. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.